Hi everybody, it's me, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. I have a quick video today and I, when I say quick, I mean really quick because I'm actually about to leave. I'm going on holidays, which is very exciting. I'm going to Marbella for a week. So I said I'd do a really quick video and it's all about, I don't do monthly favourites anymore because I don't, don't get that many views on monthly favourites. So I think what I'll do is combine them and this is going to be my summer favourites. Now, quick thing I want to discuss with you. If you watched my last video, um, I got lip injections and I said I would do a quick update on what I thought and how I got on with them because I wasn't happy. As you can see, they're still quite thin. I did go back to my surgeon, or doctor, person, and I said to him that I wasn't happy with the way they are. I'll do a side when you can see. Um, I just wanted them to be a lot fuller. I don't know what I was expecting. I had seen some people with one mil of Juvederm and they got instant like fullness. And I did when I first came out, but then a couple of hours later, I realized that they, as I said in the video, they'd gone right down. So I went back to him on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. And he just said that that's the way one mil looks in my lips. The bruising has gone down. And as you can see, I was really, excuse the tan. Uh, I was really bruised here. This side was fine, but swelling has gone down, but so have the lips. I've got, I just feel like I've nothing. So he said that's one mil in my lips and that's how it look. And he only starts with one mil. And if I wanted another mil, I just go back to my pay for another mil. So that's what I'll do in a couple of, weeks, months, I think I'll get, I think I will need two mil. Um, now when I have, I, I left lipstick and lip gloss off just to let you see, so when I have lipstick and lip gloss on, they do look a little bit fuller, my friends have said that, but I, I'm not happy with just, I wanted to look like I had something, and before I go any further, excuse the tan, I put on cocoa brown last night, extra dark, I wasn't expecting to be that extra dark, and that's after me showering and scrubbing off, I'm a little bit too dark, so that's the lip situation. I will go back and get more, but that's what one mil looks like. So let me get on with my few summer favorites so, that I have. The first thing I'm going to do is tell you my favorite book that I've been reading this month, and it is The Santa Montefiore, Daughters of Castle Deverell. Addicted, I just cannot, well, when I say addicted, I'd love to be able to sit down all the time and read it, but I just don't get the time. I have a little bit left, but that much left. And I'm gonna try and finish it on the plane. This is a three part, the Songs of Love and War, then this one, and then I think it's The Last Secrets. Oh my God, I just love her style of writing. Why have I never read any of her stuff before? And she has so many really, really good books out that this is going to be my next part. I'm gonna make my way through all her books. I done it with, um, I think it's Nikki Pellegrino, and I love Philippa Gregory, and I love a book that just keeps you hooked. I makes you want to read more of her novels or the writer's novels. That's how I think you've got the sign of a really, really good writer. Um, it's all about an, a family in Ireland that have been cursed, to say, and it's set in kind of flips between the 1600s and then goes into the 1920s, 30s and onwards, but it's just brilliant. I'm really, really loving her style of writing. So that's my big, big book favorite for the My next favorite is this little guy. I know you can't see it from there, so I'm going to show you up close. This is Joe Malone's Lime, Basil and Mandarin Cologne. Oh my God. Now my husband doesn't really comment much on, she can't even see it, can you? That's it there. My husband doesn't really comment on the perfumes that I wear very much, to be honest. Um, probably because I'm always wearing something different and I don't really have a specific signature smell. But I actually had this one on me a couple of weeks ago and he commented on it. So that's how you know it's a really nice perfume. Um, it's lime basil and mandarin but the lime is so I think the lime is so uplifting my next thing is to get this in a candle or maybe in the bath oil or bath gel or something I am in love with it and it's nearly all gone and you know me I'm a sucker for um, perfumes and scents but that's going to be gone I'm going to bring that away with me now so I don't think I'll be bringing it back and you only need the smallest amount the lime is very strong and the basil is not overpowering and um, the mandarin yeah you can get on notes of mandarin in it um, if you like that kind of, it's, I don't think it's a very feminine smell, it's a very fresh, very, very summery. I don't think I'd probably wear it in the winter, although I like it that much, I probably would. Um, yep, yeah, so that's one of my favourite scents of the summer, Jo Malone's Lime, Basil and Mandarin. Highly, highly. The next one I have is a moisturiser. My skin has been pretty dry and it's not like we have really, really hot summers here in Ireland or really dry or anything, it just rains every single day and this summer it has rained. Um, it, it's like four seasons in one day, but my skin is really very, very dry around here. I've got really dry patches, um, not too spotty, 
touch wood because I have the worst skin in the world. Um, and this has been my saving grace. This is Clarins Hydro Quench Cream, normal to dry skin. I have used the night one before, but I don't think I've used the day one. But oh my God, this, I probably should just put it on at night, shouldn't I? It is just so, it's not too rich because I'm more of a gel person. I'm not mad about putting creams on my face because even at my age, in my 40s, I still have quite greasy skin. But this is a cream, but it, maybe because my skin is so dehydrated lately, it just soaks it up. It leaves no greasy feel. And um, the formula in it is very, very light. And I love it. This is another one I will certainly be repurchasing again. Um, that's the Clarence Hydro Quench Cream. I put it on under primer, under my makeup. And days when I'm not doing anything, I just pop it on a good bit and leave it for my face to soak it up. So yeah, that's my favorite face cream of the summer. Next favorite of the summer. It's kind of strange because it's a candle. And you know me for candles, we all love our candles. This is Molten Brown Oud, Oud Accord and Gold. And it's just, you only, look, I haven't even used that much of it. You only light it for, if you have it lighting for about half an hour, the scent again will linger and linger and linger around your room. Um, if you have it in your hall, it kind of just floats all over the house. It's magnificent. This is my favourite molten brown candle and I've bought a few of them over the years. But it just reminds me, if you know when you're in Dubai or you're in the malls or anywhere, you get this constant smell of this oud and it is just magnificent. So this is me thinking that if I can't go to Dubai all year round, I'll try and have my home smelling like it. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Um, yeah, but I love it. This is actually really nice, isn't it, as well? When the candle is gone, it's a lovely, lovely gold. I'm really into gold accessories and that kind of thing. So that would be great to have a candle in. Um, when it's it's gone and everything, but it's another one I'd repurchase. And they do um, a hand cream in it as well, I think, and they do like the, the soaps and shower gel and body wash. So another, I'm very much into the kind of manly smells, I realise that now, but if you're looking for a really good candle for your, your home, love it, definitely. Now, the next thing I have is what I probably should have put on last night instead of this extra brown. Oh my God, it's awful. I'm gonna have to try and scrub that before I get on any airplane. Um, it's a self tan. I think I might have mentioned this in a favourites video before and it's the Garnier Summer Body Moisturising Lotion um, and that's the deep sun kissed look. It smells gorgeous. I use this every single day. Um, I actually put it on with one of the mitts, you know, that you get. Um, I don't have one here. It doesn't give a really, really strong look of a tan. I'm very pale and it just gives me a nice kind of a glow. None of this pff, awful orange look. Um, and whenever I see them on special, I buy them, so I have two, this one's really all gone. Um, and it just leaves your skin like satin as well. That's what I love about it. Even though it's a self tan and a very light, even though that says deep sun kissed look, it's actually not. It's very, very, it just kind of makes you look like you have a glow more than a tan. And nobody would ever even know you had tan on. There's no smell from it. It smells gorgeous. It actually does smell of apricot and it says it on it. So. This is something I buy all year round, but I use it nearly. I might give myself a day off um, every second day maybe, but most days I would always put a little bit on maybe up the top kind of around here. And obviously my arms and my hands and that kind of thing. I don't put it on my face, but it, I don't know if you could, but it certainly is really good for um, hydrating your body and it just gives it a lovely color. So that is my favorite tan. Okay, so my second last product is a perfume <laughs> for a change, me and perfume as well. This is, a dupe of one of my favorites. Okay, everybody knows this is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder and it's nearly all gone, which is heartbreaking. But somebody, a friend of mine, a colleague, a work colleague of mine actually came across this. I walked into the office and I could smell this beautiful scent off her and I was like, is that Estee Lauder? Is that Bronze Goddess? And she was like, no, it's next summer sun. And when I say this is an, an absolute dupe for the bronze goddess it is and it actually has really really long staying power i know some of the cheaper ones don't give you the longevity that the real ones do because of the ingredients in it but this one i could still smell this when i was coming home in the evenings from work and that this is the 100 ml and i bought this and a shower gel and i think it was only 16 euro in next i was gobsmacked at something that cheap is that strong and it's really really strong if somebody was to put the two of them under my nose honestly i would not be able to tell me you know covered i wouldn't know which is which they are identical um, and for like a fraction of the cost i think this is 65 euro the bronze goddess this is 16. they do it in a smaller bottle as well this is 100 ml and they do i think a 30 ml 
Um, so hopefully, I don't know if it's something they run all the time, hopefully maybe somebody might know and let me know because I will definitely be repurchasing this again. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's identical to bronze gold. Now, last but not least is some eyeshadows that I came across by accident. Um, in the mornings when I get ready for work, this is generally my face. I put on some eyeshadow, foundation, a bit of lipstick. have to be presentable because I work with the public. And I wanted something quick for my day off that I could just pop on. And these are little eyeshadows by number seven. I have two of them. These are the number seven Stay Perfect Smoothing Eyeshadow. And that's what it looks like. And this is in color bronze. Oh, okay, that's bronze. I haven't got them on now today, but <clears throat> and this one is pewter, a uh, pewter shine. So one is very like a gray tone and one is like um, a rose kind of a brown. But they are just the most gorgeous eyeshadows. You literally can just sweep them over your lid if you're in a hurry. Um, edge your finger, just blend them in and they give such a really nice color. Let me see, can I get somewhere part of me that's not orange and show you. Okay, so that's the pewter and they dry as soon as you put them in and blend them. What is that the pewter? That's the bronze. And this one is the pewter shine. And that's it there. And you, I literally just pop them on my lids, run my little finger over them and you're good to go. Great little things from number seven. Don't know why I've never tried them before. Another thing I will certainly be buying again. Um, and I got the little eyeliners to match them as well. They are really good too. Uh, that one there. And um, that one is, I'll link everything below in the description. And they're waterproof as well. Um, and that's kind of the bronze one as well. Um, to match that one. So yeah, they're really, really good for when you're just in a hurry but you want to look half decent. Nobody needs to see me without makeup, believe me. So when I want to put something really quick out the door, that's them. Really, really good. You can't beat number seven um, for skin and eyes and that kind of thing. One of my favorite products. So yeah, that's everything. I've got to go and finish my packing. I have my casual kind of stuff on. I have to go and have the hair done, have the face done, but I have to go and finish off the bags and the shoes and the usual, so exciting. So I'll be doing a vlog while I'm over there. I film as much as I can. And yeah, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing and please continue to do so. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye.